Well, we got like uh, three more chapters. We are halfway through. Okay, as always, I'm going to put a cut here for YouTube. So, hello, YouTube. So, I'm Grimwit. This is Masochistia. And, uh, yeah, if you don't like really disturbing things about abuse, abuse, and more abuse, then pr probably, probably shouldn't watch this. And things are going to get real uncomfortable soon-ish. There's going to be child murder involved. Just a warning. If you don't like that, probably skip this. All right, let's go on. Oh, hey, there's a dead body right here in the... Who, <laughs> who the fuck even know? What's up, dead body? Oh. An aged metal doorknob. Cold to the touch. Wait. We, we got a secret... We got a secret door in our house? This is fucking badass. Um... What were you into, Dad? Wait, that's from Blair Witch. Come on. Oh. Hey, Grace. Grace, what are you doing here? You feel a Grace smile. But do I? I'm not a very good person, Grace. Grace nods slowly. Oh, good. We understand each other. Why am I this way? A calm thought passes through your mind. You feel almost good. Thank you, Grace. It's only polite. You feel Grace smile. So warm. So perfect. Am I not a lost cause? With a single word pierces into your brain. Fate. Can I change my fate? Fate. Grace holds out her hands. A gift. Fate. Oh, hey, look, it's fate. <laughs> um, so cold, so impersonal. I, I kind of agree. Grace is silent. Pensive. What's pensive? Hmm. Bye, Grace. Goodbye. Mom, it's been a weird day. Hamilton, what happens now? I guess we gotta tell the angel. Then tell the angel you must. As the commandment came from him. We cannot help you here. We who's we... <laughs> Hey, Walter, I got good news and bad news. He's dead, Walter. <laughs> oh, wait. Well, brother, did you hear the good news? You're welcome. Grr. You don't scare me anymore, bro. Then take off this mask. Yeah, okay. Let me just take off the mask here. How quickly you turn to violence. No, this is not for them. Ah, oh, shoot. And that's what I was going to do to his mask. Man, I, I could have said, what the hats, paps. And I didn't when I had the chance. And now that chance is gone. Truly, when someone dies, you lose opportunity all the time. We're going to see if Mom's got anything to say. Hey, Mom, guess what? Yes. Yes, indeed. Everything is fine. He's just upstairs. It's the medicine, yes. He sleeps. Oh, how his medication makes him so tired. Yes. He sleeps. Yeah, his house full of crazy. Good to know. What do you think actually causes this kind of crazy? Like, what do you really think? Is it is it caused by the father being like super abusive and drunk all the time, or is it a combination of things? Like maybe it's the dad and the mom. Because from 
you know, you know, kids are never to blame for this kind of situation. They they really are. You you really can't blame. Even Walter isn't his the way he is without some of mom and dad. Doom Lad says both probably. I'm. Hmm. It's just this weird. To, man. Okay, I thought I heard music. It's this weird sort of situation, the situation that goes on, right? That where you're like, you you see this kind of crazy bubbling up, and I was learning about the Iceman this week, and this is a guy who was beat every day by his drunken dad, and his mom turned to religion but did, did nothing to help him. So he didn't actually understand what affection felt like. The Iceman didn't. So he was eventually hired by the mob, and he did some crazy, ridiculous shit. And you can kind of point this at his dad, I think. Well, no, maybe his mom, too. Hmm. In any case, just to feel anything, uh, the Iceman would be like, Hey, I'm gonna feed this guy living to rats, and just, just see what happens. And uh, that's, that's how he made, that's how he coped. But uh, it was definitely, oh, when he hated religion, because apparently religion makes your mom forget about you. Yay, I got a butcher's knife. The blade feels balanced in the hand. A practice thrust slice in the air before you. I don't actually think I can do anything with these, but uh, it's mine now. Oh, hi. How are you? Uh, what's your name, boy? I, I don't think I should tell you that. What? Why not? Don't, don't be, don't be impolite, Hamilton. I don't even know you. Why, why would I tell you my name? The boy takes a step backwards. Take another step, if you dare. I'm sorry, you're scaring me. You've no reason to fear me. So tell me, what is your name? It's, um, William. But my mom calls me Billy. Your mother must really love you then. She does. I love her too. Yes, you and I are going to become very close. I, I must go. I'm sorry. I just remembered I have to be somewhere. I'll remember that. Run along now. We will talk soon. Yep. Feeling the creepy. I should be running along. Like, perhaps we can talk more later. Maybe in 10, 12 years. Hope you guys are enjoying this game. What a perfectly normal friendship. Yeah, I know. This is how friends meet. This is how Captain Badass and I met. Picked him up in the woods. That's not true. We were telling dead baby jokes to each other in middle school. Uh, okay, we got... Whoa, whoa there, Michael. You got a little bit uh, handsome there. You grew a nose. Let's start with Albert. Hamilton, you've returned. The angel said you'd return. He said you'd deliver the message to your father. The message was delivered. Yes, the angel told me, and I believe every fucking thing he says. Christ, he's awesome. You should be happy, yet you seem off. Are you upset about what you've done? I did what had to be done. It had to be done, Hamilton. He was a good man, but he deserved what he got. I wouldn't, I wouldn't call him a good man. Perhaps not to you. He has suffered in his own way. 
But yes, you deserved it. Just know. You've done well, Hamilton. Yeah, I have, haven't I? I'm feeling good. Hey, what's up there, Michael? Let's uh, talk with the ladies first. The ladies, Michael. Seems I can't escape you. Gray smiles. I've been thinking about what you said about fate. Grace nods. I'm going to embrace my fate. Grace falls silent. She slowly withdraws from your mind. I have no idea what, what she would have said if it had been the other way. But honestly, do we care what she thinks or anybody else? Uh, hey there, Michael. You're looking evil. Sweet child, I see that you've returned unto me. What happened to your everything? I am everything that I am. But the weight of my power grows. For I am the messenger. <laughs> and now I'm done with you. Ooh, kick him out of my life or keep talking to the guy whose fangs are getting bigger. Uh, you know, I've delivered your message to my father. Yes, child. As I told you that you would. I have already seen this. Does one still doubt me? No, I, I totally believe the horned crossed thing on your forehead. You grew a nose. I can't get over the grew a nose. In Soviet Russia. Oh, man. <laughs> We need to do... Hang on a second. I don't even know what he's going to say, but he was like, no, I believe. In Soviet Russia, I am the mouth of God. In Soviet Russia, but you are his hand. In Soviet Russia, you've purged the world of, dark, of a dark blot. In Soviet Russia, we are pleased. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> what, what happens now? Now, you must embrace that which is your destiny. Yes, we've seen your judgment in on the Father. What, what? We have seen your judgment on the Father. Oh, I get it. But I also have seen you judge others. There, there will be more to judge? Am I a judge now? Yes, there will be. Perhaps five souls? Perhaps a hundred souls. The sum is not of importance. You will embrace. You will judge. For the decision is not yours to make. You are that which was predestined to be the hand of God. Fate intensifies. Yes, this is my inescapable fate. Now this is the choice of mine to make. Now, let's go with inescapable fate. That sounds fun. You begin to understand. You see, we act for the light. We are the flame in the darkened world. We, we still the hemorrhage. What's hemorrhage mean? We coagulate the blood. What's, what's coagulate? We accept. Uh, we accept what? We accept ourselves. It is the key. When you can accept, then you will embrace our addiction. <laughs> Nothing ever accepts me. Boy, do I feel that. I'm choosing that one. Have you not felt our warm embrace? I don't think your hugs are warm. Just, just a guess. Addiction makes it sound bad. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Have you not heard? The voice of doubt in your heart are silent before me. We have showered you in our gifts and in our affections. Don't you see? Our love is purity. To accept yourself, you must understand yourself. Understand your blood. Do you think 
God also stays in heaven because he too fears that which he's created here on earth? <laughs> you must know your heritage. I, I, I've killed my heritage. Child, your brother, he is of your blood. To embrace him is to embrace your salvation. You must embrace him. My brother really knows nothing of me. Do, do you really want me to kill my brother? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. That sounds evil. Hmm. Sounds evil. Sounds kind of evil. One fails to understand because one does not listen. And if one does not listen, how can one comprehend? What's comprehend mean? And if one cannot comprehend, how can one be saved? Wait, what? No, that doesn't even... Hold on, you made a leap there. I ask you this last time. Embrace your brother, for it is his embrace you will find your salvation. Yeah, we gotta do that. What's up there, Grace? Eh, she's just quiet. Embrace your brother. You freak me out, man. Hey, Albert. You've done well, Hamilton. You should be proud. I do feel... I do feel proud. So quick to obey. The angel speaks, we obey. You speak now, yet you are silent in the shrine. We speak, but the angel is loud. I don't have time for this. Yes, Hamilton, we must not be late for our destiny. You can feel like the sarcasm off of that. All right, let's go Destiny. I mean, let's go play Destiny. I mean, let's go play Destiny 2. Do you feel like Destiny is a, like the game Destiny? Doesn't it feel to you like missed potential? It feels to me like it could have been more and somebody got greedy. It really does feel like somebody got greedy. I don't know. As long as we're talking about fate, I thought we'd talk about destiny. I heard somebody call it like the law and order of the video game world. Like it's it's meant to be a little bit mundane, uh, a little bit um, boring. Not like a lot boring, but like not great on purpose. I'm just checking to see if there's anything over here. Like, it's, it's not intensely good, it is merely good. Like, it's, it's okay, but there's a lot of it, so it's meant to, like, be something you, you visit every day. Kind of like a TV show, like Law & Order. Well, I don't know, some Law & Orders, especially the, the first show, was, wasn't that bad. Uh, got a gun, got a knife, got a butcher's axe, got a message. What's up, bro? Yeah, I, I got a question. Oh, he's stoic, is he? Let's drop the charade. I know you can speak. Don't mistake this mask I wear for a charade. I've always been quite transparent in my needs. You, on the other hand, flippant. What's flippant mean? Tossing and turning like a raging, the raging sea. You could have gone like tossing, turning like a flopping fish, but I mean, another missed opportunity. One moment, you're the good little boy, telling us what you think we want to hear. The next moment, you're the devil himself. But, but father abused and tortured you. Yes, he did. And it pleased me. Who are you to be the judge and jury? Uh, look, um, I'm, I'm sorry. As you should be. Yes, that's it. Grovel before me, Hamilton. Beg for me. 
you know. Oh, it's, it's ho 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 ho! Fine. You have questions. I have answers. For price. <laughs> what price would that be? Like, I don't make deals with freaks. It seems like the pot calling the kettle black there. I'm so glad you've asked. I simply want you to hurt me. Sure. Beat me till the blood covers my whole body. Till I'm unconscious and gurgling on the floor. And when I scream and beg you to stop, then I want you to hit me even harder. Or you could release me from my bonds. No one knows how to hurt me quite as good as I do. So what will it be, little brother? Will you hurt me, or will you release me? Oh! Oh, that's a good question. That's, mmm. <laughs> Gotta go, Doom Lad. Quick, Doom Lad, tell me, should I release him, or should I hurt him? Just, I, God, how much, how many seconds? Bye, Doom Lad. How many seconds do I have? Uh, if he answers back, then uh, then uh, we'll do what he says. But otherwise, uh, let's see. I want to untie you, but I won't remove your mask. No deal. I don't bargain with twisted animals like you. Yes, I will hurt you. I will bleed you till you're dry. I don't see any answer from Doomlad, so he probably shut it off. Oh, boy. Um, let's untie him. How could that possibly go wrong? Ah, you disappoint me, Hamilton. But your offer is fair. So yes, remove the mask. That is all I need. Oh yeah, we want to see under the mask, so... You're gorgeous! You were foolish to remove the mask. No, I was having fun. We will find him. And then what will you do, Hamilton? Will you kill Walter too? If it's my destiny, yes, destiny, let us find him and speak. Destiny, destiny, no escaping, that's for me. Destiny, destiny, no escaping, that's for me. Uh, how much you want to bet he's in dad's room, pining? Oh, nope, dad's here though. It looks good. Uh, not in the creepy attic. We have the encycl We have only book one of the Encyclopedia Britannica, and we just have tons of copies of book ones, A through A Z, and two burning fireplaces. You know what? That's not so weird. Because you have one burning fireplace above another. So that kind of makes a sort of sense. Hey, Mom. Hey, Ma! I let Walter out of his cage. Okay, I have no idea where he is. Never mind, I'm back. Oh, welcome back. We're looking for what? Ma, have you seen Walter? Well, Hamilton, are you pleased with yourself? Yeah. Like, super pleased. You brought our family to ruin. Why is God so cruel to us? Yeah, he was cruel, not me. First, my eldest son. What was his name? How dare you? Don't you ever ask me of that. Uh, of him again, so you don't know. You're not worthy to say his name. I knew you were worthless trash from the moment I first laid eyes on you. 
What, like after I was born? She wanted to take you. Give you to your father. I should have let them kill you when I had a chance. I should have never saved you from them. Uh, God, I don't know. We could, this is really divisive. We could either say, shut your cunt mouth, or mother, I'm sorry for everything I've ever done. Now, I'm kind of against the cunt mouth thing, because that's impolite, and I don't like being impolite. So, you know what? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Does that make it better? I'm sorry. How can I forgive you for all these things? Oh, I don't want your forgiveness, but I'm sorry. My son's death. My husband's death. And now you drive the last child I have away from me. What, me? Mother, I'm... Wait, where did Walter go? Poor Walter. He is the last of his cursed seed. I know where he would... S I know where he would seek to find solace from your insanity. Follow the water, Hamilton. Follow the water, water till the heavens themselves shed tears. So, like where it's raining? Mm. Those tears are for you, Hamilton. Oh, that's very nice of this guy to cry for me. Perhaps Walter can finally find his peace and solace in God's arms. Oh, I, I don't think he's going to meet God, Mom. Where am I going? To the creek. Head to the pines, to the pines where the sun never shines. I shiver the whole night through. Okay, he's not here. Uh, was I supposed to go to the raining path now? I'm gonna call that a yes. Let's try it. Hey! Well, let's see what the haps over here. We can head north, and we can head not so north. Let's try not so north. Your mother speaks in riddles. Perhaps we follow the rain to the place of solace. Yeah, sure. I mean, if we're following the rain, we're going to have to go into the ground, right? Guys, I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, church. There we go. A place of solace. A church. Okay. Oh, hey. What the haps, bro? There you are, little brother. I've been waiting for you. Never run from me again. Bad bro. Bad. They're lovely scars, are they not? Each one has its own unique story. Oh, you know, the doctor can fix that cleft lip. I have no time for this, and seriously, I really don't feel anything for you, bro. In time, I will be remembered as an artist. My face, the canvas. You see this lip? Which one? It began with a nibble. The feeling of jagged teeth across smooth skin. But then I began to bite. I'd bite until I felt the warmth of blood run down over my chin. Drip under my throat. Yeah, are we sure that Albert wasn't actually looking for this guy? Oh, Hamilton, the taste of it. Like molten iron in my throat. Uh, somebody who's tasted blood? Yes. Stop ignoring me! But then the lips bruised and calloused and they hardened, Hamilton. The biting no longer drew the blood I craved. So I bit until I fet felt the crunch of the skin give way. You ate your own face? Whatever else you say about Walter here, that's metal. Technically, it was my lip. I ate as far up my lip as my jaw and teeth could reach. How, how far can I... Now I'm trying to bite my own lip. I want to know. 
How did he go what like right up there where his, where he's got the thing on his eye? Like right here? That's how far your your jaw can go? Jesus Christ, that is a that is a flexible jaw. It was less biting and more tearing by the end. You bore me, amateur. Ho 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 Fair enough, little brother. You've listened to me. You were a good boy. Now I will do the same for you. Hamilton, what do you want from me? Have you ever met an angel before? An angel? This eroded house of worship must have, must have you fevered. No angel would ever speak to someone like me. Do we have any other brothers living? Father was right about you, Hamilton. You are insane. <laughs> oh, God, sorry. Hey, Kettle. This is Pot. There were only ever three of us. Father spoke of an eldest son. Indeed, there was an elder son. But he was before my time. Mother rarely spoke of him. Father would beat me until I was unconscious if I asked about him. But eventually he grew tired of that and he no longer spoke to me. Do you know his name? Yes. That's all I know. His name is Albert. Dun, dun, dun! We're done talking, little brother. I've answered your questions. You should leave. Leave me to mourn my own father's death. Well, I guess you grieve in the way that makes you happy. How do I get out of here? 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 Oh, here we go. Calm, Hamilton. Our heart will burst from our chest. Pain is good. The, the penis is bad. I don't even know why that's... Sorry. <laughs> uh, the needle's puncture brings sweet release. Calm us, Hamilton. Calm us. Uh, let's try that. Oh, screw it. We're going to be using the, the needles. There we go. Everything's lovely. Oh. Hi, Grace. Always a pleasure to see you. Um, what are you doing here? Grace moves through your mind peacefully. Will you walk with me? You feel Grace smile. Grace takes your hand. Oh, come on, that's adorable. Even Hamilton gets a little bit of, of peace and quiet. I think that's lovely. Let's go talk to Michael. Uh, what's up? Older brother? Hamilton. Who are you? You know the answer to that question. I'm Albert. What questions do you really have? Who am I? You're Hamilton. For now. Are you my brother? Now that's a good question. I was, yes. You you were past tense. Yes, as in past tense. Wait. Actually, no, wait. Like, seriously, wait. Let's piece this together. Like, are they pulling a Tyler Durden on us? Are, are we actually Albert? And he's Hamilton? And we're dead? Like, I'm trying to think of the uh, the next two chapters if this will even cover this, but I got nothing. Are, are you... Am I what? Am I dead? Yes, I passed some time ago. Then, how are you here with me? It's a gift, Hamilton. A gift from God. The angels have brought me to you, Hamilton. 
I'm sorry, that... Again, no comma. The angels have brought me to you, Hamilton. I've come to help save you. What? Save me? Never call somebody a figment of your imagination. That is super impolite. Save me from what? From you. What? <laughs> All your doubts and fears. You must embrace who you are, brother. Never let anyone try to change who you are. And what am I? I've told you. You're my brother. And you're the hand of God. He has a purpose for you, brother. Don't you see it? He has a reason for everything. He has so much work for you to do. You're a part of his will. Oh, good. I'm in God's will. When he dies, I'm going to get so much. Even if it's like split amongst uh, everybody else. <laughs> And me, he took me home so that I could be here with you now. Now when you need me the most. Take this gift. You will need it in the times ahead. Oh boy, a bone saw. How'd you know? I want it. The curved handle guides easily into the palm. The teeth of the blades catch your finger teasingly. Hee <laughs> hee. Shit got weird, yo. Oh. What else you got? Is, um... Is, is that it? Like, cause, like, my mom did that to me. A monkey wolf did that to me. It's been done. That's what I'm saying. You can do better. I believe in you. You can do better. Alright, you're the gray man. Do you remember? How he died. I took him to the old warehouse. Not far from here. I took the boy there. Keep going. I stripped him naked. Tied his hands and feet. Then I, gave, then I gagged him with a dirty piece of rag I found in the dump. Y yeah and then I burned the clothes I took tools made them myself the belt was good short handle I cut the leather in half and then each half in six strips about eight inches long yeah and and this is what you tuned in for the desire to inflict pain that is, that is all is upmost. That, that is all that is upmost. Wow. I can't, I can't even say this sentence. Say it out loud. That is all that is upmost. 